All right, hello again, everyone, and welcome to today's Heart to Home devotional. And as always, it's it's just a blessing to be with you, uh, just to have this time with you. And so, in my last devotional, I talked about how God did not just state that He loves us, but He demonstrated. He gave proof. He gave evidence of that love by dying for us. And it made me consider how it is that we know a person's or what a person's character is is truly like. Or on the flip side, how do they know what our character is truly like? Well, the easy answer is we would like to see words put into action. And along those same lines, there's there's often discussion about why a believer should accept the teaching of one person or another. And if, if you've ever had the, the privilege of writing a, a letter of recommendation for someone, you, you know that you must concentrate on the qualities which that person has actually demonstrated. Those things which give evidence that this person is, is trustworthy or reliable or hardworking. You shouldn't ever give recommendation to someone where all you could say in truth is, that this person says they are trustworthy or says they're reliable or says they're hardworking. If you're, if you're going to recommend them, it would be wise to have seen some demonstration of those qualities. So in the past, we have seen firsthand or we have been firsthand witnesses of people that allowed themselves to get caught up in bad teaching on YouTube or, or the internet or, or something similar and they gave ear to teachers that gave no demonstration that they were servants of God. And we've also had people come onto our church campus attempting to sway people to their way of thinking without ever having gin, given any kind of demonstration that they were sent by God. And the Apostle Paul understood this very well. Listen to the wide range of what he, he has demonstrated when he says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 3-13. through 13, He says, We put no obstacle in anyone's way, so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we command ourselves or we demonstrated ourselves in every way by great endurance, in afflictions, in hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, by knowledge, patience, kindness, the Holy Spirit, genuine love, by, by truthful speech and the power of God with weapons of righteousness for right, the right hand or for the left, through honor and dishonor, through slander and praise, we are treated as impostors yet are true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as punished and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making rich, as having nothing yet possessing everything. And after all that, Paul takes a deep breath and looks the Corinthians in the eyes and says, We have spoken freely to you, Corinthians. Our heart is wide open. You are not restricted by us, but you, re you are restricted in your own affections. In return, I speak as to children widen your hearts also so this is why we have to take paul seriously he was or if he was a hireling or a charlatan or a false teacher he would have been long gone uh, fool's fool's gold looks like gold until you examine it false teachers look like teachers and this is a man that knows especially when it comes to spiritual matters, you cannot listen to just anybody. People may be well-spoken, they may be powerful, they may be forceful, or they may even be soft-spoken. 
but who are they before the Lord? And how do, how do we know that this is who they are? And church family, be careful who you give spiritual ear to. As Paul says very directly, if you can verify in your heart that I am sent of God, then he is asking for a return on that open heart that he gave to them. He says, in return, widen your hearts also. And widening, widening our hearts means we open ourselves to a trusted one's influence. And that's, that's why we call pastors shepherds, because they guide us in the direction we spiritually need to go. And so we use discernment that God gives us regarding people, and some we need to shut out, but those who are true, we need to widen our hearts to their counsel. So before I, I close, let me just say that, that for some that may have been burned by something in the church in, in general, there is a step of faith in this. Uh, but we can't altogether abandon the church of Jesus Christ due to the failings of men. Pray that the Lord will help you to widen your heart again to those that are true. And so let's pray that right now as we close. Lord, uh, I pray that you would give us as a church body your discernment to who are truly your, your servants, uh, Lord, that, that you would just help us to have that discernment, Lord, that in doing so, we would uh, widen our hearts to the trust of of uh, those you have chosen and to your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, thanks again, and we'll see you the next time.